Hey everybody, still working on Guitar 3 here. Um, the guitar itself is done acoustically, and now it's time for a swing bar. I found some clay maple, only have a little bit left, like another piece about this big, and then a bunch of little stuff. And uh, this is plenty to make a leg bar out of, so uh, that's next. Okay, got some screws painted gold here, get them to drying. These will be for the swing bar and the thumb screw. Okay, time to figure out the position of the leg bar here. So we come to the center of the bridge at the saddle line, which is more or less right there. And then the guitar is going to be kicked up at like a 25 degree angle, which means that this is going to be vertical more or less. So we come back 25 degree angle and right there is where we want the leg bar to come out. So we go like there, and we got a piece of tape, and we want our leg bar like right here. Yep, looks good. So, right about there. See the little arrow? Okay, so, that's where we want the leg bar coming out this way. So now we flip it over, and we need to transfer that mark. So that's going to be like right here. It's camera catching this. So that's going to be right here. And there's our mark on that side. So. Here's our guitar, the bar is going to come down this way at a 25 degree angle. Let me flip this thing around. So here's our 25 degree angle and it's going to intersect the body right there. So. Right about like that. Which we put the hole right about like there. Let's see. That's there. Then our hole's going to be there. And that's at about 25. Yep, looks good. 
right about there. Wherever that is, we'll get something to mark it with. Okay, looks like the pivot screw should go like almost where the end of the tape is. Right there. Okay. Okay, I got the bar laid out in what's more or less the leg position, 25 degrees. And it looks like the post part that'll go right here is going to need to be about 75 millimeters long. And I was going to cut it off at the end of this, but that might leave this a little short, so I'm going to have to fish up something else. You get the idea. Okay, that's the idea for the extension bar for the swing bar, because it's got to come out here and then come back this way. So it'll look something like this. But remember, it's going to be up at this level. So I'm going to be taking this and cutting it square and cutting couple little blocks off. One will go here and one will go here. And then that'll go on about like that. That's the basic idea. And then it'll be able to swing over to the other positions as well. So the first thing I need to do is I need to mark this out for drilling. I'm going to use a screw to fix these together. I'll use an unfinished screw for now for test assembly and such. And then uh, I can take it apart, center through the paint shop, and then use a painted screw for final assembly. First we need some holes.
So now these go to the paint shop. And then when they're out of the paint shop, they get glued on. Then I can drill it for this screw. Cut the screw to length and install that screw. Set this to the proper angle. That'll tell me exactly where this hole needs to go. I can drill that hole. I can go ahead and make a thumb screw. Once I get a screw in here of some sort, then I can test fit the guitar and figure out how long the bar needs to be and cut it to length, and then I can finish the bar, send it to the paint shop. But these got to go to the paint shop first because I want to finish them before I glue them on. That's the second coat of acrylic there. Okay, here you are, the drying camera. When these guys get out of the paint shop, I'll go ahead and start the next episode. So, until then, I'll leave you all with the drying cam. Everybody, have a good one.